guys, it's Stacey with Chapter Chicks, and I'm here with another book review. This was a requested book review. It is Over Finnegan of the Rock by Melina Marchetta. This was requested to me by, don't get mad at me for saying the username, but Hells on Earth is the one who requested this to me. So, and then there's, this was actually my first book review request, and I just lost track of it, and I just found it, and I'm like, oh my gosh. I completely forgot to review this book for this person. This is my second Melina Marchetta book. I've read Jellica Rowe Road, and um, I've heard a lot of people say that they love that book, and if you love that book, you will love this book just as much. Um, even though it really has nothing to do, nothing in common with Jellica Road, it, the one thing that I noticed that she does have in common in her books is her sense of community that she is able to create in these stories, and I really, really love that. This is a hard, hard book to try to explain, but I will do my best. The main character is Finnegan, and what happened when he was younger in his kingdom, he was best friends with Prince Balthazar and his cousin, Balthazar's cousin Lucian. And Finnegan was prophesied that he would need to sacrifice a pound of flesh to save his kingdom. So him and Balthazar and Lucian do a blood promise thing where they mix their blood together. Then this event happens which is called the Seven Days of the Unspeakable because nobody is allowed to talk about it. Because what happens is these rebel forces come into the kingdom and murder the royal family of the children and the mom and dad. And Finnegan manages to escape but now this is told ten years later where Finnegan has grown up. There has been something that's happened. This mirror, this, uh, this magical border has come up and can't get back in. So it's like all these refugees are running around. They're in these camps are getting fevers and I'm not spoiling this is all in the synopsis and on the inside flap so don't freak out. Everyone is trying to figure out how to get back into the kingdom so they can take the kingdom back over. Finnegan has a mentor, Sir Topper, and Sir Topper and Finnegan have been summoned to go pick up a girl named Evangeline. And Evangeline has told them that she uh, knows that Prince Balthazar is alive and that she knows where he's at and they go with her to on this quest to find him. Thoughts on the book is that it was absolutely mind-blowing. There's, you know, bad books, decent books, amazing books, and then you get the books that have, are not only amazing, but have something else to it that just makes it so unique and so out there, like a magical feeling to it that, like while you're reading it, that there's literally something bubbling under the pages and you just can't wait to get to the next chapter and finish the book because you just feel the magic within it and it just completely takes you by surprise. And those books are what I love about reading because they are so few and far between and they're all books that are amazing but don't have that just breathtaking atmosphere to it like, like this book does and I loved this book this book is exactly like that that it has magic just buried in the pages and you're just trying to unravel it and discover it and it's mystery and just a very magical feel to it I highly recommend it especially if you like Jellica Road because I know a lot of people like Jellica Road I would even dare say it is better than Jellica Road because I love supernatural things and this has more of a supernatural element into it than Jellica Road does. But so, so good. I cannot say, I don't know what else I can say to tell you guys how amazing this book is because it is, whew, so good. Thank you, Hells on Earth, for recommending this to me because I, I originally thought Lena Peanut recommended it to me because she's the one who recommended Jellica Road to me. But then when I was looking through my pages, I'm like, oh my gosh, she didn't recommend this to me. Uh, she recommended Jellica Road to me. And somebody else recommended this one to me. But absolutely loved it. Um, one last thing. For some reason, I have a thing for books that have maps in them. I don't know why. I just love books that have maps in them. And this one does. It has... I love books that have reference points to, like, where you're reading about these places. And it says, well, this place is neighboring to this place, which is in the middle of this place and you're like trying to figure it out in your head. It's just so nice to have a reference point so you don't have to really map it out in your head yourself. You can just look in the front flap to see what they're talking about. Love books that have that. So again, if you like um, books that have a sense of community in it, and books that have amazing characters and an amazing plot wrapped together, and um, anything that has to do with just that magical force that draws you into a book. I'm telling you, this book is it. It is so, so good. It has a very Lord of the Ring feel to it, even though it's not even close to Lord of the Ring, but it has that 
that magical world feeling to it. This is Stacy with Chapter Chicks. I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, I don't think I've said this, but it's obvious I give this book an amazing review. <laughs> Sounds like that my review was amazing of it, but what I mean is that it is an amazing book. That's the rating it gets. Amazing. So, just in case you didn't catch that from all my, oh, I love it so much. Um, so, yeah, so this is Stacy with Chapter Chicks. Hope you enjoyed the review, and I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye.